Welcome to the ITU studio here at the Global Symposium for Regulators 2023, GSR 23, here in Sham el Sheikh in Egypt, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by the Honorable Philly Mapulani, who is the Deputy Minister of Communications and Digital Technologies for the Republic of South Africa. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much, and thanks for having me. Now, I'd like to start off by, uh, let's talk uh, about the regulation landscape in South Africa at the moment and what it looks like, what are the main challenges and uh, and also what are the uh, the main opportunities there as well, I suppose. Well, thank you very much once more for having me. The regulation landscape in South Africa, a very exciting moment. Uh, we've got, in the main, one big regulator and uh, two other uh, smaller ones. We've got ICASA that regulates the telecommunications, the broadcasting, as well as the postal sector. And we've got FPB that does regulation of mostly online. It's, it's mainly for the protection of, uh, of, of, of children. Uh, and uh, we also have got .Zetna, uh, which is a domain name authority. Now, SNS and when technology is evolving, there is a need for these three regulators to work together. Because as you know, more and more is going on online, and therefore there is a need uh, for, for ICASA and for the two regulators to work together to regulate uh, the space, bo both online and the traditional way of uh, regulating uh, content. And so in terms of, is it rural populations? Is it uh, the economic situation that's giving you the, the most concern? South Africa is a developing country. Uh, in fact, uh, one of our leading intellectuals used to call it uh, two countries in one, in a sense that uh, you find areas of our economy which is highly developed, uh, sophisticated, very complex, uh, financial system and all of that. And you find other parts of the economy which are too rural. You may think that uh, when you go to those countries, you may think that you are going to another country. So it's the challenges of this uh, uh, developing uh, country. So those challenges are bringing with it a number of issues and areas that we need to address. One of which is to bridge the digital divide, is to make sure that we extend connectivity we make sure that those of our compatriots who are living in the rural areas have got access to the internet. So there is a project, a broadband policy pro program that we have developed uh, in the country, which we are rolling it out now. We're calling it SA Connect. So through that policy intervention, we're hoping that in the next three years, it's quite an ambitious program, we are hoping that in the next three years we'll be able to make sure that 80% of South Africa's population have got access to the internet. We are working with the, the mobile network operators through the obligations that we've imposed when we allocated the spectra. So it's one of our flagship program because we want to make sure that for everybody to benefit uh, from this digital economy that is rapidly uh, growing. Everybody else must have the ability to access the internet and enjoy all the associated benefits of having access to the internet. What is the advantage of coming to this, this symposium? What, what uh, do you hope to, to get out of it? Well, this uh, we are coming here uh, as more as policymakers. We are hoping to interact uh, with the, the regulators and to share the best experiences and uh, to understand what is the regulatory landscapes, uh, not only in our country, but across the globe. Uh, but also we're coming here to emphasize a point that as and when the regulators are doing their job of regulating the industry, they must understand also the complexities of the challenges that uh, the policymakers are also are also contending with. But we are also here to share experiences, to get the views of the industry as well, as to what do they think of the impact of the regulations, the impact of the policies that we are bringing in, 
So we're looking at it as a forum through which we're going to share knowledge, we're going to share experiences. Now, everybody's talking at the moment about artificial intelligence, about their concerns about that. Is that something that concerns you as well? There are areas of the artificial intelligence which, of course, needs to be looked at. But artificial intelligence is a technology that we must embrace. That's why in our country, uh, following on, on the recommendations of the Presidential Commission on the Fourth Industrial Revolution, we have established uh, two hubs of Artificial Intelligence Institute through which we want to leverage on the knowledge, on the resources of the universities because we are doing it in collaboration with the universities to harness the potential of the artificial intelligence yeah, together with the associated technology. So for us, it's a technology that we need to embrace. But with each technology, there are also other areas which we also have to look at, other risks that we have to look at. But in general, we think that it's a technology that will help us to help the advance of our economy. Deputy Minister, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio today. And we look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Doug. And thank you very much indeed for tuning into uh, this particular interview. There are plenty more on the ITU YouTube channel, as well as the SoundCloud channel and other places where you might uh, access your podcasts. And for further information, please visit www.itu.int. Thank you very much indeed. Until next time. <laughs>